Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Truth Be Told. How are you doing today? You know, I started saying about four days ago, I don't, it just started, it said, today's the best day of my life. And something happened when I said that. And I kept saying it over and over again. And the first day I started saying that one of my dear friends passed away. I want you to know after I got the news, after I was saying the whole day, today's the best day of my life. Today's the best day of my life. The enemy came to try to steal what I was saying because of what happened to my friend. I struggled with God that day. I wrestled with him like Jacob for a couple of hours uh, saying, but your word says, and your word says, and I prayed and you said that I shall have whatever I say. I mean, me and him went at it. I lost <laughs> uh, because I realized that at the end he says, well, does that mean that my word doesn't work? Does that mean that you don't trust me? Does it mean that I'm a liar? And I was like, no, no, no. So I had to let go and let God, I had to trust him. You know, just like the day, I don't know if you guys, in one of my messages, I told you a couple of months ago, I literally was at an intersection and I was going to turn left and I heard the voice of God tell me, no, don't go. And I kept looking and I couldn't see nothing, no danger. It was my light and I was going to go again. And he told me again, don't, don't move. And I took my foot off the gas. And the moment I took my foot off the gas and hit the brake, the car next to me went and a car came out of, I don't know where this car came from, honey. He was not in my visual sight. Uh, it came and hit that car and turned it around. It should have been me, but I was obedient that day, right? So that remind I remind myself that day that God knows what I don't know. He sees what I cannot see, and I need to trust Him in all things, even though I don't understand it, and even though I don't like the outcome of something that I've been praying for. So the reason I'm telling you all this because I didn't stop saying today is the best day of my life. Even though something really bad happened that day, something that really made me very sad and devastated me and made me grieve because I, I loved him. He was a friend of mine. It didn't stop being the best day of my life, you know, and I pray that no matter what comes your way, uh, no matter how hard it may be, it, you know, it says that you can have joy in the midst of your storm, in the midst of your tragedies. You can still have peace and joy. And people don't understand what that looks like. But I'm telling you, because I, I experienced that. I mean, I was sad. I was grieved. I cried. But I still had peace. And that only comes from God. So I pray today that we understand that um, we need to let go and let God that we need to not understand everything. That's why he's so many verses says, my ways are higher than your ways. Lean not on your own understanding, but submit to me in all your ways. Well, I'm here to declare that I submit all my ways to you, my king, because you are infinite. You are uh, everywhere. You're omnipresent, right? There are so many things. I know there's only certain things in my finite mind. I cannot think outside of the scope of what I know. You know, and even though I believe I know uh, somewhat of the word and I know the truth of God, uh, I still could never know everything that he knows. So I just trust him. So I pray today that no matter what you're dealing with today, just give it to him. Lean on him. Lean on his strength and his peace. And acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will make your path straight. I love each and every one of you. I That wasn't the message I wanted to say to you. But that's the message that you got today. So just trust him no matter what you're going through. I think somebody needed to hear this because no matter what, today is the best day of your life. Remember that. I love you guys. I am on obedient road and humble highway. Where are you at? Holla.